it's, it will be, I mean, it will be a difficult task to try to summarize all the discussion we had but uh, today, but I'd like really to, to deeply thank all the people who, who, who participated to this event and especially all the laboratories because as part of this second meeting, we, we really opened the discussion to laboratories uh, of research in architecture in France, but also internationally and thanks to, to the, the laboratory of uh, Barcelona uh, also to Copenhagen and the one in Rabat, who, who were with us today. Um, and uh, we could mention also the, uh, the Laboratory GSA, uh, LIFAM, uh, the MAPMAC, uh, LIX Polytechnique and LNPC, who were represented today, as well as the CRH, also with, uh, um, with uh, Stéphanie Boufflet. Uh, so we've been, the, the event has been financed and technically supported by the School uh, uh, of Architecture and SAPVS and also uh, Laboratory FCO, and I'd like to, to thank them for that. And we have a lot of uh, students who basically help us out to build the, the event today, and I'd like to thank them. They're here for, since this morning at, at uh, 8 o'clock uh, to set that up. And, <clears throat> And I know that um, if we had uh, some technical problems, sound problems at the beginning in the in the YouTube feed, we have a perfect sound. And I think this event shows us that in a virtual environment, we have better quality than inside of the physical uh, space. And I'm sorry about this this technical problem we had. Um, I, I I can note uh, some some. I'd like to to really highlight some of the. Uh, topic that came out of the discussion today, even though I, we cannot talk about uh, uh, all of them. Uh, but the, I think there, were, there was a very interesting talk on, on this uh, notion of new methods of conception for architect, augmented, uh, augmented conception. I can mention uh, people like Christine Bacta with local mapping uh, of, uh, of uh, cities by users or Aldo Solazo uh, with this notion of uh, mapping cities with unstructured data and writing uh, algorithm to understand uh, the logic behind this data. Uh, and the, the same thing for Mariam Shabi from uh, Rabat with fascinating models uh, to analyze old cities like FES, uh, which are really this um, un-understandable environments uh, because of their intricacy and their complexity. And I think using data and tools, uh, she, she mentioned to use that is really interesting. And I also uh, totally agree with um, Laurent Lescop on, on very interesting talk we got from, uh, from Shua Wong and uh, Vincent Dubois, who are just graduated from this year, basically, and that came up with a very, uh, very fascinating <laughs> and profound research on how, on one side, how to use Python for uh, for helping uh, architects to to analyze uh, uh, cities and and uh, and circular economy uh, for cities. I think Vincent had to, had to go, and Shua Wong on this notion of a, of building neural network to help architects to, to really populate a, a huge amount of a, a scenery of projects. I think that's a, something we, we've been working on for years, but now we see that we have the tools to really unfold the, the process. And I'm glad that, that this is coming from basically an independent researcher uh, instead of a big organization uh, like, uh, like space makers who are really trying to, to to, to merchandise this kind of a technology. Um, and, and, and I have the same with uh, Phil Eres, which I, I, I think your, your talk really demonstrate that architecture can be seen as, a, as, a, as an informed matter, as a way to basically combine information and matter in order to create um, a, a model of a kind of a parametric model for, for, for architects. And I think that's, I mean, that's really fascinating uh, for us. The second, the second topic is the, the impact of data on the city. And we saw today that uh, the, the, the notion of uh, analyzing or using data for services is really impacting uh, already the, 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 our environment and the work of architects. I can mention, for example, Ruth Shackman, who, who told us the, com the computer model is of a building is basically uh, the original and the building is a replica of this computer model. So we see that there is a shift 
in in the way in in what we identify as the as the as the main course. I mean, is the main corroborating tool the physical model or the or the or the virtual model? And I think this notion of of the impact on the cities is also really well described in the talk of uh, Stephanie Boufflet on city Taobao on the way uh, um, contra, uh, companies like uh, not Amazon but um, Alibaba is impact, impacting rural communities and changing local organization and local life i mean that's that's a very interesting uh, very interesting impact of this 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 uh, new life on uh, on rural economy in china and we see also the problem with uh, the first generation of uh, smart cities like songdo uh, as described by Lea Balmi, especially on the context of uh, the impact of privacy uh, for the cities. The third, the third item will be uh, around what I call col collaborative uh, ER or collaborative tools. Uh, I think the talk of uh, Laurent Lescop was was interesting as um, as proposing basically a physical tool to collaborate virtually. And this notion that uh, um, uh, a lot of new uh, uh, ways of collaborating, and we can mention also video game as a way to create new environment or metaverse as a way to create a new environment for, for collaboration. As architects, we've been co trying to collaborate with a lot of people without the right tools. So now it seems we're, we're, in, we're in, um, at, at the age of a, of a change of paradigm. Uh, on this aspect, uh, the the work of uh, also uh, Arthur Henri Michalan uh, with uh, Ait uh, Asanadu uh, is also interesting on this aspect because I, I believe you're using housing as a way to monitor usage and in a way uh, the the architecture becomes also the physical space to collaborate afterwards and to share data and bring back the data to the to the users or to the conceptors and I think that's also a very a retroactive way to work on on collaboration uh, and that's the, i mean architects never go back to their building and i think that's a great way to 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 go back and to understand what what worked and what didn't work um, and and the last the last item i'd like to mention is this notion of emotion uh, it's something which is really unlikely to be associated with technology and what we realize is that technology here help us to better understand emotion and this this uh, these tools allowed us to go much further in creativity and in uh, design uh, conception and i think that uh, tawij tiwi who talked about uh, different intelligences especially emotional intelligence and that's part of the work developed at the ai van city uh, school uh, but we can mention also barbara arake who talked about uh, emotion as a design tool. That's also a very original way. I mean, architects used to make physical model, do photographies, do films, but then we realized here that, that technology, neural sensors could be used as a way to, to help designers to, uh, to develop that. Um, and the last point I'd like to make is, I think it's important for architects to fiercely engage themselves in the manipulation of data and to project uh, this for further uh, creativity and to take this uh, opportunity to increase the meaning of their work. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to really uh, take this time before we go uh, for, for a drink to also mention the fact that we would like at the, at the end of this event to create basically a, um, a national and international network to share between researcher and between institution the, the, the research which is made uh, on this topic of uh, data, architecture, and intelligence artificial. And I'd like you all to collaborate to this, uh, to this uh, new network. I, I, I think we, some of you we met uh, at opportunities uh, of a network at the Ministry of Culture based on, on BIM. But I think we're going way above this issue of, of simply uh, sharing uh, models. Uh, and, and I think I'd like you all to be able to participate to this, uh, to this uh, uh, new network. Uh, well, well, that's uh, clearly our plan, and I think today's the best time to start uh, this network and to be exchanged to that. So I'd like to, to invite you for a drink, and maybe Pascal wants to say the last word on the, on the text. Thank you, David. We are I won't be so, so long, uh, be sure of that. 
uh, we are in a specific momentum, in fact, and uh, we have the chance to be identified by uh, several actors in an international network, in fact, that we have to build. I just want to, 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 to recall that we are going to deliver a double special issue in the International Journal of Design Science and, uh, and Technology. The deadline of the article is to, to be published will be on 20 of December. The double re reviewer session will be held on 15 of January, and the whole issue will be published on the uh, 15th of February. Welcome to us. It has been a, a, a really good journey, and it's a really pleasant uh, way and chance to, to work with you, David. So. Thank you.